In this video, I will show you how to find the resultant force, so F1 plus F2, and also its locations. And I will, I will insist on the locations. I will not put any numbers there, it's just a general explanation. So we have two forces, F1 and F2, that applies on the L-shaped uh, structure, and we want to replace those two forces by a force FR. The first thing that you can do is like say that FR is equal to F1 plus F2, just be careful in Cartesian notation form. So F1 will be F1 on I hat and F2 is going down, so minus F2 on J hat. Okay, so we know uh, FR and uh, both complements. So we have the X and Y like this. Oops. X and Y axis like this. <laughs> I should just make one a whole bit. So we know that FR is. We know the directions of a both complement. Um, you can geographically, we can do something. Okay, we can move F1 and FR there. Draw F1 complement, so that should be the same length. F2 it's a little bit smaller, so FR. We can draw it there. That's FR. Okay, or we can draw it. There, anywhere on this line of actions, that will be the same FR. Okay, so the question is okay, let's find everything we can on FR. So, magnitude, magnitude, so the magnitude will be just the F1 square plus F2 square. Okay, direction. So let's draw with the axis x. We have the axis x, so the directions that we want is this theta. Okay. So to find theta, we use oops, I can move the complement. This is the F2. This is the F1. So we will find that um, arc tangent of theta equal opposite divided by adjacent F2 divided by F1. So we find theta uh, like this, and theta will be negative because it's below the axis x. If this one is the axis x, this one is the axis. But now the distance. How do we find the distance? Okay, um, the drawing is correct. Fr will be there. Okay, um, this is correct to draw the line f1, f2, and draw fr uh, with all the tips of the three forces that are at the same point. But you have three options. You can use the fact that the moment of the force F1 about A plus the moment of the force F2 about A equal the moment of FR about A. Okay, uh, This is just about the z-axis, so I don't put any vector on that because we are in two dimensions and the moment is just on the axis z. So everything will be on k-hat. Okay. Um, how do we find this? Mf1. That will be F1 time this distance D1. Okay, so that will be F1 time D1. And this rotation, this force creates a negative rotation. So minus. I need to move that. Minus. For F2, that will be F2 time this distance D2 perpendicular, and this is that's create also a negative. Um, it's, tr it's trying to create a negative rotation. Okay, so this one you can you can find it. You know F1, D1, F2, and D2. And on the right you have MFR, so FR, the magnitude of FR time. There's three options. If you use FR, that will be the distance d that you are looking for, and Look this, this distance d, I will just clean a little bit before I draw that. Oops, let me clean this and clean this, okay, and even that, so we can see a little bit better, and I will clean those two distance. So this distance d will be the perpendicular distance like this. That will be D, okay? So this is D. Now, if you don't want to find D, because 
you use the magnitude of fr, so you need to take the minimal distance. Okay, that's my fr there. If you want to find ax bar, a lot of you want to find ax bar, instead of fr, so ax bar is this distance. Could be from a, this distance. That will be your ax bar. Okay? That will be the distance on ax between the line of action of fr, okay? And the point a. So what you need to use, okay, there, that's the complement F2, or generally the complement FRY, okay? Because when we move this FR up to this point, so F2 equal FRY for us, okay? And F1 equal FRX, because we just have a force on X and a force on Y. So when we slide the, the friction, the force of reaction along its line of action, so we slide it there, we slide it there, okay? We have F2 vertical and F1 horizontal, and F1 is going through the point A, so it doesn't create any rotation. The only rotation that, um, the only force that can create a rotation, that try to create a rotation, is the complement on Y. So we need to use on the right, so on the left that will be the same, minus F1 D1 minus F2 D2 equal FR Y, the complement on Y X bar. Now, if you want to find Y bar, what will be Y bar? Y bar, y bar will be the distance, the vertical distance between the line of action of FR, again this one, and the point A. Why? Because if we slide FR, there we have F1, we have F2, so the F2 is the FRY, F1 is the FRX, the complement on Y is going through the point A, it doesn't create any rotations, the only point that creates a rotation, the only force that creates a rotation is the complement on X, so that will be FRX time y bar, and same thing on the left. Okay? And now, um, one last thing. You will find something negative, positive. You don't really know to, what to do with that. Is it y bar above a or y bar below a? Is it x bar to the right or to the left? Is it d on the right? up corner or on the bottom left corner, okay? This answer comes from the sign of the moment. So in this case, our moment will be negative. So we need to draw Y bar um, and looking at the direction of the force F1, and in our case, F1 is going in that direction, so we'll create a rotation that is negative. If we draw it below, that will create a positive rotation, so that's not correct. We want to create a negative rotation. Same thing with D, D, F, R, we create a negative direction if we are on that side. X bar time F2, we create a negative rotation on that side. Okay, so your um, right, left, above, below, or the minimal distance, the location, um, you should look you must look like at the sign of your overall moment, okay? In our case, it's clearly negative, but sometimes, like in your homework, it was not necessarily negative. Some of you have something negative, some of you have something positive. So I hope it helps. I know it's a lot of information on that. I hope you follow it step by step. Uh, let, me know, let me know if you have um, any other questions. Bye-bye.